What is going on viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to a, another drinks review. Today we are viewing one of the more recent flavours Relentless has brought out and this one is going to be on the mango version. So I forgot this was a totally new flavour, I haven't actually reviewed it at all and saw it and thought oh wait yes this is a new flavour, um, why not let's go and review it. So I got this particular drink well, I got this one out of Tesco actually, and it cost me one pound, which is always a good price. Uh, kind of same as the Rock Stars, which are generally always 99p, and apart from you know Monster and Red Bull, which are always generally more expensive now. So these have kept the one pound price tag along with uh, Rock Star, albeit 99p. So yeah, so I got this one out of Tesco's, but you can get these out of you know other supermarkets and just random corner shops and stuff like that as well. So let's give you guys a full 360 of the cans. So of course, we have the kind of updated the new relentless logo design they done a few years ago compared to the roll design they're a lot more simple and just well yeah they're a lot more simple than what the roll cans were there's less kind of artwork and stuff they've they've kind of just redone it in a simple way and kind of well this is one of those weird brands i've always said it they're the smallest of the big four you know red bull monster rockstar and relentless are the smallest of the big four and they've kind of always been there in the background there and they don't really have many flavors it's, it's a weird one relentless but yeah, they uh, they went through the rebranding. So that's most of the can. So on the bottom we have nothing, and on the top everything is all standard and silver, including the pull ring. So taking a close look of the can, so we so we have the new style kind of rock star, sort of rock star, relentless. I keep saying rock star. I do apologise. The relentless R, and it's kind of got this shiny reflective thing on there. We have a picture of a crow or a pigeon or something. What is that? It's a yeah, a picture of a crow or a, not a pigeon, a picture of a raven or crow one of them i can't tell the blooming difference and then we have the relentless uh logo at the bottom as well most of the can is just this kind of just orange not really much artwork in the background just a few lines going out to the side there if you can really see but yeah really not that interesting cans but simple and to the point we have ingredients and stuff which i'll read in a second and then a little story as well which i'll read in a second as well so looking at the ingredients, so of course these are the half sugar versions, obviously uh, post COVID, uh, no, not post COVID, I don't say post COVID um, jab then, but post sugar tax. And these now have 4.8 grams of sugar per 100 mil. So generally half, these generally used to be either 10 grams or more. So they were quite sugary, but seeing as they halved the sugar in all their relentless drinks, um, you know, to keep up with uh, increasing the price basically. So to keep the one pound price, they halve the sugar. So reading the actual ingredients, as it is the half sugar, do we have any sweeteners? Let's see, we have suraclose and that's it. So no aspartame or anything like that, which is good. Uh, we have our favorite vitamins, which are panathenic acid, niacin, vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. Caffeine content is the usual of 32 milligrams, per 100 ml so again that's bang on the average there yeah, for the caffeine content now reading the story i actually realized that this is literally the same story as on the other cans because i reviewed the cherry one of this the other day and it's got exactly the same story but i'll still read it to you guys in case you haven't seen the cherry uh, uh seen the cherry review so the journey towards artistry yeah, it's a weird word and committing everything for your moment is an accolade in itself Greatness or glory doesn't come by accident, it is earned. In, for, in forging, in our humble opinion, the ultimate energy drink, we set upon the quest not for, not for perfection. It's kind of hard to read, guys, I'm not going to lie because of the reflection. Uh, we set upon a quest, but not for perfection. But one of passion to produce a drink worthy of the name Relentless. Its refreshing, smooth finish and uncompromising flavour knows no boundaries. Be unwavering in your personal pursuit of greatness. Be relentless. So yeah, um, again, I apologise for starting a little bit, but it is kind of hard to read. But they kind of literally copy and paste stories on the back of these. So trying to copy the likes of, you know, Monster and stuff and Rockstar with their stories on the back. Um, but these aren't unique stories, they're just copy and pasted. Um, so, you know, again, it's just more, it's not as personal as some of the other cans. But anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So mango, um, I'm guessing the colour is going to be some sort of yellow or orange colour. Uh, the taste, well, I mean, mango can be one of a million things. There's so many mango and something drinks out there. This is probably going to be more like a fruit juice. So probably I'm going to be comparing it to something like maybe one of the Rockstar kind of juice drinks. But um, we'll have to find out. 
Anyways, don't explode over me. There we go. You asked if Kylo would be like red or something. <laughs> nope, of course it's not. It is orange or yellow. So, we'll do. Quite a lot of bubbles on the top there. Right, so let's pour a bit more up. There we go. So as I said, there was quite... Ooh, smells... Ooh, got a good whiff of it there. We'll give it a closer smell in a second. So, yeah, so there was quite a lot of bubbles on the top there. Uh, they went fairly quick and there's quite a few bubbles on the side as well. The colour is indeed yellow, not orange. So... Yeah, it's definitely yellow and it is uh, cloudy and it is non-see-through. So giving it a closer smell now, let's see how it smells. Yeah, it smells of mangoes, but it just smells like some, again, it smells like just some generic fizzy mango drink, really. It smells nice, I don't get me wrong, it smells nice, but just smells of generic mango. But anyways, guys, let's taste some. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, not too bad actually, interesting. Hmm. It's quite nice actually, that's nice. Ooh. So, initial reaction is if you've ever tried Rubicon Mango, there's your answer. That's pretty much your answer. That's literally almost what it is just with caffeine and again because caffeine is tasteless it's you could just argue it's Rubicon mango end of <laughs> so the actual drink well sweetness wise and i said this about the cherry one it's got a good amount of sweetness still in the drink so for having the reduced sugar and for not having you know a spartame or anything like that you know one of the more aggressive sweeteners it's actually still got a good amount of sweetness to it, which is nice because I like it when you've got a reduced sugar or, you know, low sugar content, but it's still got a good amount of sweetness and you haven't got that aspartame in the drink. So really impressed with the sweet. I'd say that's definitely above average for sweetness for definitely for having that amount of sugar. So, you know, if you can compare this to say the original, well, there wasn't an original mango because they didn't used to make a mango. Um, but if you compare it to like the other original relentless drinks, you know, they were just a lot, a lot more you know sickly uh, sugary but this one just has the right amount of sweetness to it which is good so the sweetness is spot on the flavor again there's a i'd say a, a good flavor of mango in there just about average flavor of mango in there so you've got you know you've got a good amount of mango flavor and it tastes nice it tastes of a nice real mango flavor because again you try and think of like a like a cheaper mango drink maybe like a cheaper fizzy mango drink you get in a can or something it can maybe taste a bit, you know, artificial or fake or something like that. But this has got a really nice, like, it, it tastes like it's got, you know, real mango juice in it, just as, like, the Rubicon mangoes do as well, for example. Now, I know the Rubicon mango comes in, like, the fizzy uh, and the juice form. Obviously, they're totally different things. And this is obviously, this Relentless drink is fizzy as well. But this is obviously, like, the fizzy version of Rubicon mango, but they literally are almost the same. Um, I'd love to do a blind taste test actually with the Rubicon Mango versus this, see if I can tell the difference. And I, I guarantee I probably won't be able to because they are really similar. And I love the Rubicon Mango. I drink it now and then and, and it's nice. But yeah, back to this one. It's, like I said, so it's a good, strong, a good flavour of mango and it tastes nice, tastes real. Aftertaste, there's not too much in the aftertaste to be honest. It's not really anything going on there. It's kind of just, I say you drink it, you get the good amount of sweetness, you get that nice mango flavour. And then that's kind of about it. There's not really is a aftertaste as, as, as such. Now we toss them out the can, see if it tastes any different. Mm. Drink it, get the nice sweetness, the nice ma mango flavour, and then nothing in the aftertaste. Not a bad thing. I'm just saying there's just not really nothing in the aftertaste. Better to have nothing than have something that doesn't taste nice. But um, yeah, no, quite impressed with this as an energy drink mango flavour, but then again, you could argue if you add caffeine to Rubicon's, uh, you know, Rubicon's mango, then does that turn into an energy drink? Well, who knows? By the end of the day, they're very similar, and this one's just as nice, and it's got the caffeine if you want it. 
Hmm. That is nice. He is nice. Hmm. I'll happily drink the rest of that with no issues. So, as always, guys, if you have reviewed the Relentless Mango, let me know in the comments below. And if you do see this one, because again, it is a newer, newer version, been out for a little while now because I've missed it, but pick it up, give it a try, and let me know what you think in the comments below. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more drinks reviews, and I will see you all later.